Good evening. Today we'll start the book of 1 Samuel, first through the third chapter. 1 Samuel chapter 1, Now there was a certain man, a remeth of Zavim, of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jerom, and the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zeph, the Nephronite. And he had two wives, and the name of one was Hannah, the name of the other Peniah. And Peniah had children, but Hannah had no children. And this went up out of the city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priest of the Lord, were there. And when the time that Elkanah offered, he gave to Phinehas his wife, to all her sons and her daughters, portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. But the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. As he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah to her husband, Hannah, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? And not I better than thee ten sons? So Hannah arose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by the post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thy handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head." And it could come to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured my soul out before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of abundance of my complaint and grief I have spoken hereto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee the petition that thou have asked of him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight, so that the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the early morning, and worshipped before the Lord, and returned, and came to their house of Ramah, the Elkanah, knew Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about, after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son, and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she had said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord, and there abide forever. And Elkanah, her husband, said unto her, Do what thou seemest thee good, tarry until thou have weaned him, only the Lord establish his word. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, three bullocks and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine, and brought him into the house of the Lord in Shiloh, and the child was young. And they slew a bullock and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O my Lord, as a soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here, praying unto the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I ask of him. Therefore also have I lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord, as he worshipped the Lord there. And Hannah prayed in verse or chapter number 2, and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, mine horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in the salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceedingly proud. And let not arrogance come out of your mouth, for the Lord of God is a knowledge the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, that they were hungry that ceased, so that the barren hath borne seven, and she may have many children, and wax feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor, maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. 
The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of the heaven he shall thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give unto the strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of his anointed. And Elkanah went to Ramah to his house, and to the child did he minister unto the Lord before Eli the priest. Now the sons of Eli were the sons of Belial, and they knew not the Lord. And the priest's custom with the people was that when any man offered sacrifice, the priest's servants came. And while the flesh was in seating with a flesh hook of the three teeth in his hand, and he struck it into the pan or kettle or cauldron or pot, all that the flesh hook brought up the priest took for himself. So did they in shallow unto the Israelites that came thither. Also, before they burned the fat, the priest's servant come and said unto the man that sacrificed, Give flesh to roast for the priest, for he will have not sodden flesh of thee, but raw. And if any man said unto him, Let him not fail to burn the fat presently, and then take as much as I so desire, then he would answer him, Nay, but thou shalt give it to me now, and if not, I will take it by force. Wherefore the sin of the young man uh, was very great before the Lord, for men abhorred the offering of the Lord. But Samuel ministered before the Lord, being a child, girded with a linen ephod. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat and brought it to him from year to year. And when she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice, and Eli blessed Elkanah and his wife and said, The Lord give thee seed of this woman for the loan which is lent to the Lord. And they went into their own home. And the Lord visited Hannah so that she conceived and bare three sons and two daughters. And the child Samuel grew before the Lord. Now Eli was very old and heard that all his sons did unto his and heard all that his sons had did unto Israel, and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. He said unto them, Why do ye such things? For I hear of your evil dealings by all this people. Nay, my sons, for it is a no good report that I hear. Ye make the Lord's people to transgress. If one man sin against another, the judge shall judge him. But if a man sin against the Lord, who shall entreat for him? Notwithstanding, they hearken not unto the voice of their father, because the Lord would slay them. And the child grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. And there came a man of God unto Eli and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, did I plainly appear to the house of thy father when, I were, when they were in Egypt in the Pharaoh's house? And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to offer upon mine altar, to burn incense, to wear an ephod before me? And did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire of the children of Israel? Wherefore kick ye at my sacrifice and mine offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honorest thy sons above me, to make yourselves fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of Israel, my people. Wherefore the Lord God of Israel saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord said, It be far from me, for them that honor me I will honor, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Behold, the days come that I will cut off thine arm and the arm of thy father's house, that there shall not be an old man in thine house. And thou shalt see an enemy in my habitation and all the wealth which God shall give Israel, and there shall be not an old man in thine house forever. And the man of thine whom I shall cut off from mine altar shall be able to consume thy eyes and to grieve thine heart, and all the incense of thine house shall die in the flower of their age. And this shall be a sign unto thee that they shall come upon thy two sons, upon Hophni, and Phineas, and in one day they shall both die of them, and I will raise me up a faithful priest that shall do according to that which is in my heart and in my mind, and I will build him a sure house, and he shall walk before mine anointed forever. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left in thine house shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread, and shall say, Put me, I pray thee, into one of the priest offices, that I may eat of the bread. Chapter 3, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the work of the Lord was precious in those days, and there was no open vision. And it came to pass at that time when Eli was laid down in his place, and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out into the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. That the Lord called Samuel, and he said, Here am I. And he ran to Eli, and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I called not. Lie down again. And he went and lay down. And the Lord called yet again Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli, and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And he answered, I called not, my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not know yet the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. 
Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go, lie down, and it shall be, if he call thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and laid down in his place, and the Lord came and stood, and called as other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both of the ears of every one that heareth it shall tingle. And in that day I will perform against Eli all the things which I have spoken concerning his house. When I begin, I will also make an end. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth, because his sons made themselves vile, and he restrained them not. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. And Samuel lay until the morning and opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And Samuel feared to show Eli the vision. And Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. And he answered, Here am I. And he said, What is the thing that the Lord has said unto thee? I pray thee, hide it not from me. God do so to thee. And more also, if thou hide anything from me of all the things that he said unto thee. And Samuel told him every whit, and hid nothing from him. And he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seemeth him good. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did not let none of his words fall to the ground. And all of Israel, from Dan even to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord. And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord.